<sighs> oh god, I made it, but it's like four in the morning. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. I have two big problems. I only got some fruit, some eggs and drinks, but I forgot to prepare something and I forgot to buy stuff. I just set my alarm. <laughs> and the other problem is I'm not hungry. Oh, this doesn't work yet. Waking up at four is one thing, but then I have to eat. I have to find a different way. But for now, I'm not hungry and I don't have food. But I woke up. It's four and I woke up. I have to find another solution. How can people do this? Every day, for 30 days. Oh. Bristy. Hi, good morning. Have a nice day. You know what I did? I woke up for Sahari, but I was not hungry. <laughs> Third day of Ramadan. Yeah. And I didn't eat for Sahari the second time. So now I have to wait till Iftar yeah. again. Yeah. Every day the same. And you have to eat, eat Sahari also. Yeah, but like, how can I eat at four in the morning? I'm not hungry. Uh, you have to eat little bit in night, not much. Then you can take Sahari, lots of food, then you get energy the whole day. But I also have to prepare the food, right? Because yeah. if I wake up at four and I start cooking, yeah, I can't do that. Okay, but you know what? As I have to wait the whole day again for Iftar, mm -hmm. I want to go somewhere nice. Yeah. So I watched a video at Iftar at Mok Bazaar. <laughs> Dhaka Mok Bazaar, which yeah. is probably one of the craziest places and nicest to have uh, Iftar. I never can imagine, man. Lots of jam. Is it nice there? I never go there for Iftar. <laughs> Specifically iftar. Okay, okay, so today I go to Mok Bazaar, yeah. one of the biggest, craziest places for iftar. Okay. And I get my iftar there. Bye. So as this month is all about Ramadan and Muslim religion, yeah. we thought about why not going to the church. Because we saw from here that there is the mosque, but there is a church. Of course, we show what Ramadan is all about, but why not also go to a church? Have you ever been to a church before? No. You wanna go? Yeah. Okay. First Thank time for Brissy to see a Catholic church. Okay. Woo! Can you please write in the comments if it's okay what we are doing now? Is it okay to go to a church during Ramadan? Can I do that? I am not sure, but here is Jesus. Okay. Let's check out the church inside and please let me know if it's fine what we are doing or if it's forbidden during Ramadan. Prayer, fasting, almsgiving. Fasting, there you go. And there, normally the priest is standing. And then you have your people here, and then you do the prayers. Kind of similar, I guess, to Muslim religion. What is the main difference of Christian and Muslim people, you know? Christianity, yeah, yeah Jesus was the son of God. Yeah. But in Muslim, but in Muslim religion, you don't have Jesus, right? Yeah. There's no Jesus. No, he is our, uh, like, prophet. Ah. Yeah, he's our prophet. But in Muslim religion, uh, you think Jesus is coming. Yeah. So you Jesus still think come. he will think come. That. Ah, so the main difference yeah. probably, correct me if I'm wrong, is that in Christianity, Jesus was already there. And with yeah. Muslim religion, yeah. Jesus will come as a prophet. So okay, I hope this is right. It really looks nice, but I have to admit, the mosque I went yesterday, the Gulchan Mosque, it looked even cooler. It was like a really nice building. But yeah, good old church. It's also nice. But you see this, if there is coming soon, enough with the churches. Back to the mosque and back to Ramadan and back to Iftar. Turmanamki. 
Yeah, my name is Atikul Islam. It's a lot of traffic, huh? Yeah, maybe, a lot of traffic. Do you think we can go to Bashundara in one hour? Okay, it's let's go. I think let's go. <laughs> I do Ramadan for one month. You think I can do it? Yeah, yeah. It's the first time in my life I try. Your first time? Yeah, because I'm Christian, man. I'm not Muslim. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want to find out if it's hard or not. Do you do Ramadan? Yeah, yeah, I am Ramadan. So you're fasting also? Yeah, sure. Every day? No, no, every day, huh? Sometimes. Okay, we go hard. We do the full fasting. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm not going to Mark Bazaar. <laughs> I called Sabir and Sabir said uh, Mark Bazaar is boring, so now we go to Bashundara. You think we get good iftar at Bashundara? Yeah, yeah, possible. Okay, nice. I told you, Dhaka traffic, man. Bro, you found a good way, right? Yeah. So it was so busy. No, <laughs> somehow we found the perfect road. I mean, we have to stand again. <laughs> but we are moving a little bit. Whew. At this time in Dhaka, when uh, everybody is going home from work, if you move in this speed, you can't complain. You're already faster than 99% of the city. <laughs> okay, I made it. I made it to Bashundara. <laughs> In time. So now I have to find food for the iftar. Why is there so many people coming from there? <laughs> okay, there must be something nice. Let's go. I thought it's not so busy, but apparently <laughs> all the people are back there. I know this place because my gym is up there. I always work out there. It's a really nice gym. So maybe I will buy some iftar food and I bring it to the gym. And then I, I'll invite the trainers because they are so nice. And as I got invited last time, Maybe today is time that I invite somebody for Iftar. And you know those gym people, they always need nutrition, they're always hungry. <laughs> this is the good old Bangladesh I know. <laughs> Streets packed. Super busy. Good old Bangladesh. Okay, things are crazy as always. Iftar is coming soon. Nobody is here. But everybody wants those parcels for takeaway. And of course, we also get chillang. What are you ordering? Uh, I'm, I'm ordering chickpeas, then this pia peas. Yeah, we'll be having those aloo chop peas. What we usually have during iftar. How can they even understand you, man? Everybody's screaming. I can't hear anything. <laughs> Bro, we need a little bit more of this. Maybe a three or four of everything, huh? All right. We need for the gym bros. Uh, People are going mad. I'm so happy Sabri is here. How could I even manage this? You know the feeling when you go to a supermarket or to a shop and you haven't eaten for a few hours and then you buy so much. You only wanted to go there to the supermarket for like a little bread or for something small and then you end up buying everything in the supermarket. This is the concept here. This is basically the concept. People just going crazy because they didn't eat the whole day and now they order so much. <laughs> Everybody is afraid that he doesn't get food. This man also is afraid that he doesn't get food. He's already waving. He says, I want food. Those two are waving, they want food. Hey, hey, give them give those men food. <laughs> I have no idea what we are getting. But I have the feeling we're getting way too much. Because this man is so hungry. This man is so hungry and now he wants everything. 
I, I was I was ordering everything. I mean, every item for two pieces, and Steve just told me, "Hey, this is like five ten." Yeah, because we have to feed a gym, man. We have to feed the whole gym. What is this? This is Halim. Halim. This is basically lentil soup mixed with a lot of lentils and spices. And you have the options of taking with the beans and uh, what should I say? But they're having a fight, right? Because he says the same. Whoever screams louder, we buy it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now we need the drinks. We got the food. We need the drinks. Oh, this is already finished? Yeah. Actually. Nice. Nice. Lime juice, eh? Mint lemonade. Mm. Hello. Hello. How are you? Very good. I brought iftar. Yeah. You also preparing? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh very nice. <laughs> what is your favorite? You like this? Uh, no, I, I don't like this. I also don't like this. <laughs> it's too sweet. Uh, but this? I, I, yeah. What like is your name? Anika. Anika. Anika, nice to meet you. Oh, thank you so much. We are very happy that we can make Anika happy today. <laughs> <laughs> With the food. Oh my god, this is huge amount. Oh, yes. I'm looking forward to Iftar. 20 minutes left. Okay, so this looks like it's closed, but it's not. Nobody's here. <laughs> Whenever I was here, the gym was so packed. I couldn't even train properly because there were so many people. And now <laughs> it's empty. Why is it empty? Why is the gym so empty? Everybody is fasting. So if you're not a mus Muslim during Ramadan at six. You can hit the gym at six. Yeah, you always have to go to the gym at six. Perfect timing. You're one of the biggest guys I know from Bangladesh, eh? Man, he's so big. <laughs> Professional bodybuilder. Professional bodybuilder. Yeah. Nice. Sabri, you know what the best way is to get even more hype for Iftar? You have to do a little bit of workout right in front of Iftar when you're already hungry. And Man, then... I'm, I'm, I'm already hungry. 20, 20, 10, so it's 50. 50, 20 the bar. So we got like 120 kg deadlifts. So bro, if you can do that, then the ifter well deserved. Three, two, one. Bro, wait. What? We have to go to ifter. Yeah. Ah. Ifter time, man. Lemonade. Oh, this looks so nice. This looks so nice. What is this? Good job. Fast breaking. Nova. Shock bot. Shock bot. Shock Yummy. Yes. <laughs> but you only like the chilabi, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but beef cutlet, is it good? But barely yes. there is any beef, maybe. That's perfect. Mm. You like it? Yes. But, like you know, Okay. Everything tastes so good because if you don't eat the whole day, then everything is so nice. <laughs> I'm so bad with eating with my fingers, I always lose so much. Ah, I do like this, huh? Yes. Yeah. Like a snowball. Mm. <laughs> ah. And yeah, man, finger I tips. Then yeah. <laughs> is it with meat? Egg. No, egg, egg inside. Egg inside. Egg and potato. Egg and potato. Dim job. Egg, Egg and potato. And fried. Huh? As always. Oh. You don't like it. Yeah. The juice inside. Mm. Mm. You can suck it out, right? The chilabi. Drum flour and flour yeah. mixed. Then you deep fry it. Mm. Afterwards, you dip it in the sugar syrup. And that's when it's ah. become that juicy. We nearly finished everything. Good job, man. And Hey, 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 hey. Woo. What a nice ifter meal. <laughs> that was beautiful, that was so nice. And you see, I listened to your comments, I listened to your advices, I changed my sporting habits a little bit. So now I'm not running and I'm not going to the gym during the day. I wait till night, I wait after ifter and then I'm ready 
to hit the gym. What a beautiful day. What a perfect finish with this nice little gym session. And yeah, everything was perfect today, except for the Sahari. Once again, I disappointed you. <laughs> I mean, I woke up at four in the morning, but I was not hungry. There was no food prepared. Didn't really miss it, but uh, I couldn't really feel the vibe. So I realized I cannot do that by myself all alone in my apartment, that's not working. I need other people. A friend told me there are Sahari parties. I struggle a little bit with believing that because I cannot imagine people meeting at four in the morning or three to have Sahari together. I mean, it's four in the morning. My friend even told me like the city is thriving. So there's like a bunch of people at four in the morning around Dhaka having Sahari together. And I, for me, it's quite hard to believe that, but I'm here to learn, I'm here to find out. So my friend sent me this event, Sahari Under the Stars. It's apparently one of the bigger Sahari parties, if you can call it like that. And now I promise you again, the next time you see me, I'll be on my way to this Sahari party to find out if there's actually people in the city at 3 or 4 in the morning to have Sahari together. Let's find out tomorrow. Bye bye. Uh, and before I forget, I thought about going live for Sahari and Iftar on Facebook or Instagram. So if you want to see that, <laughs> if you want to see a destroyed white guy waking up at 4 in the morning, going live for Sahari, then yeah, make sure to follow me on Facebook or Instagram. Just search for Steve Long Bye <laughs> on Instagram or Facebook or check the link in the description. And then yeah, let's have Iftar and Sahari together. Woo.